Yo, what's going on? George yeah, G-Star, J-Mov, new brand, John Anthony. So I'm over in uh, Poland, Warsaw, Poland. That's the home base right now. Um, I've bounced all around the world. You're set up in uh, Vegas right now, but you, you got a bunch of spots too, right? Yeah. From New York, California, Vegas, Miami. Nice. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick background. Um, myself, I've been running a dating and lifestyle company since 2012. Um, I used to work for Real Social Dynamics in 2012, RSD. Then I started my own thing, more effective, more efficient, uh, in January of 2013. And I've just been doing that ever since. I quit the corporate world, haven't really had a job the past five or six years, and uh, just kind of all in on the whole the whole dating and debauchery thing. <laughs> Quick little, little bit about myself. My name is George, I go by G-Star. Most of you guys know me for business. All right, from New York, self-made. I am the hottest entrepreneur in the space right now. Nobody's doing what I'm doing. So most of you guys already know me, the ones that don't. I'm here because one of the things I like to do besides obviously help all you guys, give all you guys tips on business, is help your life, help your lifestyle. So John, is somebody to me that is just amazing uh, set of knowledge and social dynamics and pickup, whatever you want to call it, that helps you find literally the partner of your dreams because you can't really be rich and miserable. So <laughs> you gotta, you guys got to know this stuff. Like even if you got the business down, you might not have the relationship and the pickup part down to making yourself into the ultimate alpha of your own version of yourself. So me and John got a lot to talk about. Yeah, so kind of the, the unique aspect that I bring to the table, I started off like super, super fucking, like out of the 700 kids in my high school class, like probably the most nerdy dude, well, probably three-way tie with my other two closest friends from high school. The one dude ended up going to do a PhD in quantum physics, the other one's a New York, uh, New York City high-profile attorney. I went on to work on uh, nuclear missile defense for the U.S. government. My job was, if there's nuclear, biological, or chemical missile attack, how do we optimize the speed of response time, accuracy of response time? So that was my job for five years out of college. But I kind of took all that analytical. We kind of resonated on that same shit because you apply a lot of that to business, a lot of that to other parts of life. All that analytical, critical thinking, problem solving stuff, I applied that to social dynamics. So I approached this, uh, the whole social dynamics game, like very structurally, very systematically. I've kind of boiled the whole thing down into a whole set of flow charts. Not in a fucking weird way. Like when guys hear stuff down the surface, they're like, <clears throat> thinking it's turning into a robotic process or you're like kind of objectifying the girls or you're dehumanizing the whole thing but it's not like that at all you're still having very real connections with the girls very real conversations you're being yourself I, at the I core think yeah. up one thing. i think that that's one thing people don't understand is when we say social dynamics or pickup we're not it's not about like harming women or trying to like i guess like victimize them this is about empowering just ourselves just a self-empowerment trip it's really not about like the sex and all these different things they're not when there's formulas and there's charts and there's actual like analytics on this stuff it's just like anything else it's like saying if you want to be a great basketball player you can't be a great basketball player not knowing your competition yep. you just won't you, you never have an edge you're just out there fucking shooting a fucking ball yep. in this the, the the competition you have to know your other males your other species what's out there right but you also have to know what is it that girls are looking for? I mean, if you're just walking in blind, like I spent, I punted, like, I don't even know, a decade or fucking more. I punted it away just focusing only on business and trying to make money and didn't understand what the fuck was like really going on with how do you ultimately get the girl of your dreams? How do you ultimately just self-empower to know what even you're supposed to say? Yep. Because just because you're good in business, doesn't mean you know the first fucking thing about interacting with a, a female or, and for me, part of my program that I'm integrating too is one for females, like for females to know what we want. Like you can't, I think a lot of problem too is girls are used to so much of the 98th percentile of men, which is just some goof that walks around saying random shit <laughs> that when you get to them and you want them to say a very certain thing, it's a lot of them I find that I have to teach because it's not that they're doing it on purpose. It's they simply don't know any better. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like if me and you only ate pizza every single day, 
And then we see sushi, we just stare at it and try to like hold it the same way we're holding the pizza, but it doesn't work. So it just is important for girls to know how to do it with men because if you want to capture like a guy like myself, I'm going to see through like shit tests and all, like bullshit up front that I'm just like, wait, this is it. And then I have to educate them. So a lot of them, I'll point to the direction of my YouTube or I'll point to my Instagram. I'll say, watch this video, then reapproach me. And they always reapproach me properly, which stops me from repetitively doing the same work over and over. You know, that just, like, it's more automation. So. Yep. Yeah. And what's, what, to that point is like a lot of these dudes are just following this societal narrative or this cultural narrative. They see this stuff in the movies or they think there's this like little like Hollywood fairy, fairy tale happening that, you know, they they don't really know any better, like you said. And a lot of the, the real truths about the principles that operate in the dating world and, and being able to get high quality chicks, a lot of that's pretty underground shit. Like you said, 98% of guys, beta male, kind of clueless, kind of, you know, fucking it all up. And this little top one or 2%, they're kind of having a big monopoly on all the hot chicks. And the hot chicks don't want to fuck those clueless beta guys. They want to fuck the alpha cool dudes. So, <laughs> you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? Asked a girl the other day, I said, what would you rather do? We are talking about Uber drivers, right? Because I had determined, so I did a poll. And if there's any Uber drivers watching, then, I mean, I'm sorry, but this is just what, what's going on. I think this is interesting because it helps you go into the deep psychology of what girls are really looking for in men. So I had a poll, and I put up a poll on my Instagram. And the Instagram, for guys who don't have it, G-Star for real, G-Star, the number four real on Instagram. I put up a poll, and it said, ladies, and my story views are in the seven to 14,000 count, okay? So there's a lot of people voting on this. Women, men, you can say whatever you want. I said, ladies and guys can answer. What is in your mind structurally than an Uber driver? Is anything lower or not? <laughs> and it's really 9%. Went with things better than that. Role. Like, us girls, I would say, like, oh, would you rather me be, like, delivering pizzas or be an Uber driver? And they'd say, no, I'd rather do the delivering pizzas because Uber drivers are creepy. And I'm like, okay. And then I said, what about if I was had no job, I'm homeless, I just couch surf and then kind of, like, just jump from couch to couch. That's all I do. I have no income. I have to live off you or I'm an Uber driver. They're like... The couch surfer is more artistic. It's like more like you're figuring it out, bro. It's bad. So like, so like, like a lot of like DHV, like demonstrating higher value or things like just social status, yep. are are not always service because there's Uber drivers who can make like two grand or three grand a week, whatever they make. But the girl to like is so obsessed with like that that's just such a low thing to them. And I ask different leads, I would say like, why? Why do you think that? They're like the common consensus of that was them saying that they felt like, okay, to, to sign up for Uber, you just... They do a background <laughs> check too, right? <laughs> right, like some like five minute shit. Yeah. Like the girls, like if, if you were out like at, working at Wendy's or whatever, girls would be like, damn, you know, he's trying, he's an artist, he's putting his shit together. But they find Uber so low because I said, so the consensus was why? And, and, and they're answering with, because every Uber driver hits on me, he's a creep, was the first one. It was the very first, like, every Uber guy. And there's there's does, stories in the news, too, about incidents and stuff like that that have happened. Yeah. The second one was is laziness. Yeah. And the third one was because it's in a service position. So I said, what do you mean? I said, give me another example of, like, another job that you would just, like, like, your, your pussy would dry up and die. And they said uh, a bellhop. I, I thought was that, that was, like, a big one they all said. I was like, huh, what's the connection between a... Well, that, Uber. Yeah, and an inter interesting point there is like bellhop is like, you know, doing all this shit for the hotel. Whereas you take and they see that as low value. Whereas you take a promoter, who's probably making less money, he's doing all this shit for the club, but the promoters get laid like crazy. But I did ask about the promoter, John. I asked about the promoter. They put that in their creep top three creep no pussy category. That's one of they those. Just, that's one of those I, things though. That's like cognitive dissonance. That. I know most promoters I know get laid more than anyone else. They, they do, but they have no retention, bro. Their retention sucks. They have no, come on, dude. A, a promoter, look, every promoter <laughs> I ever knows the same thing. They get laid, like, 
that night because just mathematically there's enough they're running into enough body Vol- volume by being yeah volume by being in the right place at the right time yeah so I'm talking about now higher end chicks okay I'm not talking about a four so I'm sorry I'm talking about seven and a half up yeah. go they're just like men they're like I'll use this guy one time and then I'll use him whenever I need him and you're like this like but he also like, has like that he has that like inside status just like a like a manager of a strip club or a manager of a restaurant or some shit. Like you know, no, they, they do to a certain degree, but then when someone like me comes in, they're automatically gone. They're never to be seen again. You're yeah. just a service they're using. You're yeah. like, uh, if I use fucking Cash App, and that's what it's like. Yeah, I need it when I need it, and then I don't need it. Like I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, dude, the high end ones, they're not gonna. You, you like I was talking to this the other day. Um, it's so competitive that. Even with all the game and everything, and we could have the best social dynamics in the world, right? You still need everything else hitting too, in my opinion. In my opinion, from I'm remember, I'm in a different pool, so my pool is like the celebrityism of urban culture, and I'm just talking about in my pool, it almost all has to be hitting because I'm competing with like Kevin Hart, like it, it like everything, like you ha- really have to like. The girls are social proofing men, which I think is kind of cool now, because it's really separating us as men. And if you don't have social dynamics incorporated into your day to day routine, you're no matter how much money you have, you're literally fucked. Yeah, for my my clients, <clears throat> the typical guy that comes to me, he's been because I have them fill out a questionnaire. So I've been coaching six years, uh, coming up on seven. Uh, I have them fill out a questionnaire, and they tell me how many girls they've been with, what are their main sticking points, what are their main problems, etc. It's usually they've been with five to 20 chicks and it's usually a successful guy that's that's doing well in the rest of his life, but not with girls. And he's usually sought out a lot of help before they come to me with other more mainstream companies like Real Social Dynamics. But the Real Social Dynamics business model is centered around just keeping you in a perpetual state of confusion and keeping you perpetually bad at it. Like everyone I know back to the 98% thing, almost everyone in real social dynamics is just in this loop. Like they have over 30 digital products now. And like I had a guy come to me a few months ago. He said, I've taken 11 different live trainings with, with RSD. And he's like, I don't know what to do in a nightclub. And with my business model, I solved the problem on the first live training or, or with my first digital product. So like my whole thing is to fix the problem and then you know, call that bad business in terms of making money, but they don't need my services anymore unless they want to get to like an extremely good level. But I handle it for them pretty quickly. And since we're not like most of these guys that are coming to me are not dealing in the in the celebrity realm like you are, like in the upper tier, it's yeah. mostly a threshold thing. So it's like if they're too fat or they're too skinny, the gym is required, you know, in, in addition to the yeah. social and, skills. And that, that's all the base. I do 100% agree with that. That's all the basics of... Like, like, I'm skipping all those steps, you know what I'm saying? That's the, the basics of the core of it, you absolutely have to start with the basics. Like, I'm, I'm like, already running in my mind, so I'm forgetting about the, like, crawling and walking part. The yeah. crawling and walking is absolutely, like, you have to get the basics of yourself down. Well, and then... A lot, of these comp- a lot of these companies, like RST in particular, they, they say, like, looks don't matter. And we don't need to get into that whole debate about do looks matter, because obviously they do. You know, Tinder wouldn't be a thing. But, you know, people wouldn't be doing better on Tinder than other people if looks didn't matter. But the point is a lot of these guys stop working on themselves and they think they just need game. They just need to be doing approaches. But they'll go and do, you know, thousands of approaches and get nowhere or get extremely minimal results. They'll get the occasional fat girl out of luck that was drunk and lost her friends. And then they attribute that to game. Whereas if they would have went to the gym and dressed at a decent level and developed some basic conversational skills before applying their their game and pickup techniques it would take them a lot further i think i think part of it too is that guys think that they can just be the jack of one thing and that that will in turn lead all the women to them like oh i'm good enough at business so therefore like these girls will be attracted to me that's not how females mind actually operates you have to have different it's like you have to have playbooks and you have to know who you're talking to even for women to us, you know, for women to us, they still need to be like, okay, this guy, like I, he, I'm not going to, if I'm a stripper, I'm not going to talk to him like he's a trick because I know that he gets hot chicks. So therefore I need to talk to him on a human level. Like these more like 
sub levels of game. Yeah. But even in the basic game, let's say I'm a billionaire. I'm not, right? I know I'm gonna be a billionaire, not a billionaire. But let's say I was a billionaire right now. I'd still need to know every aspect of social dynamics because I'd still be losing. I know billionaire friends of mine who are fucking losing that are gonna come to my events to hear people like you listen to the whole theory because literally they're fucking losing. Like they have every, like they can buy anything, yep. but then the girl just leaves anyway because yep. they don't have the inner knowledge. Their yep. knowledge is zero. No, this, so this is arguably one of the most important skill sets. Like I, I was in the internet marketing world and, and networked up to the top and I, I met a lot of those guys that have tens of millions of dollars and they said they can buy anything in the world they want. But when it comes to women, unless they're resorting to hookers and prostitutes, which a lot of them don't want to do, they can't, you can't generally, genuinely buy respect from a hot chick. Dude, I, I equate it to this. We are like, okay, I live in the United States. North America, by far, is the easiest place to make money on fucking planet Earth. Okay, if you come here and you don't make money, shame to you. Shame to you. If you have to go to a fuck, like, what are you going to go to a fucking third world country and start a business? We live in the best country. This is the place where you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. Yeah. So you have that opportunity to do that. Same thing goes with social dynamics. If you're in North America, anywhere, Canada and anywhere in the United States, and you are not trying to understand how to interact with a female human, like what the fuck's wrong with you? And then that's what a lot of them do too. They go to other countries all the time. They're going, they're leaving, leaving the United States, and they go live in like Columbia. El Salvador, Colombia, yeah, because, <clears throat> yeah, South America. White that I'm, you know, like yeah, bank, yeah, I, yeah. I know a lot of people that go to Bangkok and Thailand. They go to Manila, Philippines. They go to Colombia, yeah. and they just just for being white, that kind of gets rid of all the need to have skills at game. But it doesn't work though. Yeah. It doesn't work in the end, and you your self esteem is shit. See, I think, I think for me, part of learning game and part of learning social dynamics, so when I started my first book, which was The Game, Mystery, it was like, like I'm like, this guy's amazing. I learned a lot from that book. What it taught me is like, there's a whole other underside of life that we don't ever hear about. And it's not, there's nothing, it's only positive. Like, this is like a part of life where if you're missing it, you, your life is different, actually. Like, your actual life sucks mm -hmm. it's really weird it's like discovering game and discovering social dynamics is much bigger than even what we're talking about it's literally the difference between like winning and losing in life like yeah. what's that what's that worth like like to me there isn't even a, like me and like being successful having businesses etc and having money is an invaluable price to learn what i've even learned this far even mm -hmm. like your videos are amazing that book, what I've taught myself being in field, like crashing and burning, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Even if you're in the like celebrity realm of that, it doesn't even matter. It's all the same thing. Is there a difference between is your life good or is your life bad? It's that fucking serious. Like I take it really seriously. I'm like, and I watch, I think for me it's about like watching other people suffer. Like I watch men on dates and shit. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, Man, he's like getting, literally like the guy's getting abused. It's like watching some, like even if you don't know somebody, yeah. you still for them as a human, you know? You're like, I, I'm literally like, we'll go eat with all like my guy friends and listen to someone's date and I'm like, she's just, like I'm like, he's getting destroyed. Like this is, it's like you want to jump in and do something. You're like, hey man, like you might want to check out, like seriously. Because like your life quality is pretty fucking low. Yeah. I mean, you you are just getting victimized. It's, to me, game is one word, victimization. Are you are you getting victimized all the time as a male? Because I don't think girls do it on purpose. They just don't know any better. They're not doing it on purpose. They're not like, I don't think every girl's out to target a guy and hurt them. Well, it's, a, it's, well, a, it's evolutionary. Like, yeah. it, go, it goes back to the, you know, I watch these documentaries sometimes on like monkey tribes and there'll be an alpha dude leading the pack and he'll bang all the chicks and the beta males just kind of do the work and all this shit. And if they fuck with any of the girls, he'll fucking kill them or whatever. But these chicks will sneak off and try to bang alpha leaders of other tribes. And if the if the alpha dude finds out, he'll go and try to fucking kill that guy from the tribe, or he'll he'll kill the chick that went and snuck off. But the point is, these chicks don't want to fuck any of the beta guys in the tribe. They want to fuck the alpha leader. And that's that's it's been true the whole way through. 
so you know you can't blame them for responding with with uh, not much attraction to, to guys displaying beta characteristics I asked I asked a girl the other day I said what is it about the ultimate guy that you're looking for if you had to say a word you know I said you could say any word things like that she said you know what it is about you I said okay what because this is like I know when a girl like fucking with me on a whole nother tip where they're like a permanent permanent yeah so what it's like I'm like I'm like I'm not the only good looking guy with money on planet earth like okay like there's one or there's like as many of those as there are hoes like it's like does it matter yeah. she said I want to be inspired by the guy I'm with nothing less than that so it's so it's like not only do you need to know social dynamics and how to even get to the point where you're asking a question like that but then you have to incorporate you have to have it all you know that's why it's like I think what's so cool what you're doing and what I'm doing and how they integrate because you, you literally, it's hard to have one and then not want to know the other one. I think that if you know all of it, you're going to, like, it's a life mastery level thing. Mm -hmm. There's just, you really can't master life if you haven't mastered how to talk to the other opposite sex. And it's not in a, it's, it's like, not in a bad way. It's in, like, a literally, like, just so you can have a conversation. There's and it, a moving sex. Yeah, it's, it's fixable for almost any dude, too. Like, I'm, like, an extreme case. Like, a lot of these guys that are coaches that give like these marketing hype stories that are just made up stories about how, you know, like even in business, they're like, Oh, I was like, was it Dean Grezios? He's like, I was, I was living out of my fucking dad's bathroom or, you know, like these extreme situations. And then they became a millionaire. But like, I literally was like probably the shyest guy in my whole high school in math league and chess club playing the violin, afraid to talk to chicks. And I was also extremely religious at that point, just from my upbringing. I was raised like very conservative and I was planning on waiting until marriage to have sex. Fast forward to, this is the beginning of 2019, um, about mid-December 2018, I slept with my thousandth new chick, which <laughs> never never in a million years, like I remember um, maybe like a little over a decade ago, I was talking to a roommate I had and I was like, can you imagine if we ever fucked like a hundred chicks in a lifetime? And he was like, it's not possible. And I was like, I know it's not possible, but just to say we fucked like triple digits worth of chicks, like that would be fucking awesome. He's like... Yeah, but that would never happen. And I was like, I know, but still. And that's why this this world has been kind of exciting to to go through. Like, you've been focused on business the past decade. I've been immersed in this. Like, even, even when I was working corporate jobs, I got fired from IBM, from Hewlett Packard, from Sony, just from fucking missing meetings, from being out late night at, at clubs and stuff, or just being too tired when I was at work. And uh, I'm not, like, bragging about it, but I really, I really put like an extreme amount of time and effort into this and applying all those analytical skills. Like I used to play pro poker. I used to compete in chess competitions, any skill game. And I view the, the pickup and social dynamics as another skill game. Any skill game I've been able to analyze and master very quickly. And then just coming from a, a childhood of extreme, like my mother was extremely verbally abusive. I think that kind of fucking like tore me down so much that in my adult life I've been on this quest or whatever the fuck you want to call it but those two factors the extreme analytical abilities and to master a skill game with that kind of deep pain from childhood allowed me to have the drive and the abilities to kind of I can, optimize this I, I can i can give you another example too like before i even knew that like social dynamics existed i didn't know that existed right pause so i was like maybe 17 16 years old and i'm thinking to myself about the person that i want to create because we all have two people we have an outer person we've had a person the inner person knew what i wanted i'm like i want to have money i want people to respect me. i want people to listen to me i want to help people when i have enough money to do that i want to have some level of like notoriety or fame i want to be able to i'm envisioning this chick it's like the chicks that i love i'm envisioning like platinum blonde hair like literally like just baked him like I want to be this uh -huh. guy right I want to be this guy but in order what I learned from ne never getting chicks like I didn't start getting chicks till I was like maybe even 19 yeah. same shit like you know I come from a broken place same thing like New York growing up super poor didn't like there they're integrating school so you're there looking whack as fuck and then there's another dude pulling up in a Mercedes and they integrate these schools like that there, so it's really bad. So you're you're 
social status of yourself is low. Mm-hmm. So just like knowing that, knowing like, okay, and trying to envision the person I wanted to be, I didn't even understand that in order to build that person, you have to know this stuff. I even feel like there's guys who even ended up with hot chicks that are in music or they're like in another type of business, whatever, but their chick's not really attached to them. It's really weird. It's like, even though they could be super high level, I'm not going to name people out, but I'm saying super high level, like music producer, super high level business, business guy, super high level athlete. I have a lot of friends that are athletes that I don't know any of them that know how to talk to girls. They just pay them. And I'm like, and it's, it's not even about the fact that you can. It's about your inner pride. It's about your outfits. And yeah. Like, you're, why are you doing that? Like, they, they have no interest. Just like, oh, just buy some shoes and then. That, that's not, there's no self-satisfaction. I, did, I, I learned that the self-satisfaction, even if you can get, like for me, I like a Barbie. Okay, I want a Barbie, right? That's so ultimately my, in my like, I want to have kids with this package. Yeah. In order for Barbie to be attached to you, you have to know how to talk to Barbie. Just having money gets Barbie to have a real, like the guy she loves right here, and then you over here. You'll be there in some capacity, but they're not, inner attached to you if you don't know social dynamics you can't do it exactly yeah i've talked to a lot of married chicks or chicks that are in relationships with with rich dudes or high profile dudes and if the dude isn't an alpha cool dude that gets it basically you know that she's attracted to apart from the the status and the fame she'll go fucking alpha dude she'll fuck like some dude that could be flat broke but that's way cooler and that it doesn't like that. That stuff only holds up so far, you know. Yeah. At the, at the end of the day, like it's, it's, I, di- I just made a video about this about basically like guys being a pussy or not. I've been out with chicks. It's like a fun exercise. We'll point to random guys in the mall. Is that guy a pussy? Is that guy not a pussy? We'll point to random guy at the nightclub or on the street, and in half a second, she can say yes or no. It's a binary thing, and I can agree with her or disagree with her, like in the exact same. Like we match up almost completely, and it's just this this vibe you get off someone that just radiates. So, yeah, they, they, but like for for girls, they're really good on picking up energy. They pick up energy so fast, you know. It's like it was so a, a lot of social dynamics is about your energy. Energy will outbeat anything. You can have if you have the best energy, you can outbeat any billionaire, fucking athlete. They don't give a fuck. They will be on you. That's it's like. What I project, that's why I feel like girls are attracted to me organically, just the energy. It doesn't matter the rest of it or just a fucking gimmick. No one cares about your fucking car and money. And yeah, it's cute for five minutes and then it's like, okay, who cares? But whatever energy you're putting out, if you do know the inner workings of social dynamics and game, you can literally have any girl in the world that you want. Literally. Like you you've gone it's like unlocking the Da Vinci code. Like this is this is on the level of like, okay. I'm going to put a key in a door, and I open the door, my whole, my whole vision of the world changes. This is what I feel social dynamics really are. Not just the pickup, not just the sex, fucking, who cares? How about, like, I know that I'm confident enough that if a girl walks away, I can replace in two to three minutes. Yep. So my self-confidence is high, so I don't feel like I'm getting pushed around. How can you push me around? Exactly. <laughs> really can't. That's so, but that's all in here. It's not in here. It's not in your car. It's not in your place. And that's what I think in, in learning social dynamics and game, because I feel social dynamics is on a, a broader scale. Social dynamics is like knowing how to address a room, group settings. Different game is actually knowing like when a girl's doing like a shit test. For those people who don't know, just like girls will do things to test you until you feel jump through the hoop. If you do, you're basically a loser. Yep. They're just little tests they give you when you meet them. If you don't know how to address those things, you just you're stuck in level one. Yep. You have to know how to do these things all the way from basics, like stuff you talk about, like fucking basic shit that guys don't even think about. Fucking showering, shaving your dick. Like, <laughs> this is not rocket fucking science. Yeah. But if you never give it any thought, it's just like looking at like a business, like one of my business I, I, that I own is a big logistics company that, all right, when you go to Walmart, right, and you buy toilet paper, yeah. you don't think about where the toilet paper originated. You just buy it and that's it. Well, I have like one of my businesses that I have is I have a big logistics company. So 
that's how goods get from point A to point B, like international shipping and stuff. Yeah. So like, <laughs> if I didn't like, it's like I compared it to game social dynamics because it's underground. People like like the common person like doesn't think like, damn, how did this toilet paper get to Walmart in fucking Boise, Idaho? They just buy it, then that that's it. There's no more thoughts. It's like social dynamics and game is the same thing. It's like no one looks at a girl and says. I understand who this person, it's like a scanner, it's like beep, 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 and it scans me what's going on, and then I go, okay, and I adjust, but if I don't do any of that, I'm walking around just like a, like an idiot, like I'm just blindly walking around, not just buying shit, it's like consumerism, you know, it's just like, let's just buy shit, we don't think about how did this thing get made, where did it come from, it's just not common knowledge, is why I feel social dynamics is, it's the knowledge that people never think about, that's really honestly all they should be fucking thinking about. Yep. Because the rest, it's no good. If you have money and you have no social dynamics, you're no good. You're a loser. How crazy is that? Yep. Like, you, do you think do you think girls' pussies are getting wet to Mark Zuckerberg? Do you? <laughs> do you? I don't think fucking so. No. Nope. Okay. I, I I think Zucks is dope. He's raw. Like, I love his whole <laughs> everything that he's ever done. I'm a big fan. But can the guy get chicks? No. And he's probably one of the most powerful people on this earth. Yeah. Does that say it all? Bill Gates? I mean, we can do this game all, all, all day long. Mm -hmm. Like These are people who are like some of the most well-respected business people, legends, that will be down in history, but never knew how to talk to a six. So, <laughs> they, just married, so, they just married a six. Right. Or <laughs> lower, and then... Like, do you think that, like, let's be honest for a second, let's just do a little truth and honesty here. Do you really think that, like, Zucks doesn't want to, like, be married to a model? Yeah. Dude, people people have to know this. People shouldn't be able to pass go collect $200. Like, they shouldn't be able to go past college, go past high school, yeah. go past an educational standpoint into the world without knowing social what? dynamics. It, to be honest, it's still pretty underground. I mean, a lot of... Of these, course it's yeah. underground, dude. That's why I'm going to blow it up into the biggest thing on planet Earth with you. We're going to do this shit. What are you talking about? Bro, it's it's so underground. Me, personally, I'm so proud of it. I tell all my chicks about it. They're like, oh, what do you know? I'm like, I know more about chicks than you do. So just mm -hmm. slap your bullshit over there. And they're like, damn, that's dope. What do you know? We start talking about it. I'm <laughs> like, let me tell you why I really internally like you. Let me tell you who you are. I do this game all the time. I'll give you one I just did the other day. Chicks are like... So here, we'll just tell it on camera. I don't care. Fuck it, we're gonna go raw. I don't care. So I was gonna tell you this up, but I'll just tell you now. So, okay. There's a girl I have in Toronto, right, named Summer. Okay? I already saw her. I envisioned, at first I envisioned Summer a long time ago. Summer's yeah. gonna watch this. You'll see who she is, very hot. A long time ago, I have a friend who lives in a part of Toronto called Mississauga, right? I know that area. Yeah. Okay, cool. So. Lots of hot chicks, right? But I, I saw him winning, you know? And I was like, wow. He literally got, like, my dream. Like, his wife is, like, my dream chick. She, let me explain to you what she is here. And then I have to send you some pictures later. But she's, like, platinum blonde, but, like, like fake tits, perfect face, beautiful. Like, literally, like, naturally beautiful. And then a little surgery, too. Like, the veneer. Like, she's literally, like, a 10, okay? On every aspect. And she's obsessed with him. No funny shit. Like, because he does have enough social dynamics to have Pasco and do all that. It's like the perfect chick, and I'm like, damn, I want that, and I want it from Mississippi. I literally want, I'm like, fuck, I want, like. Is she Canadian, or where is she from? He's a Persian. Okay. But he, but he. No, no, the so girl, the chick. The, the chick, she's, um, she's Canadian, Persian, and a little bit of, like, Colombian or some weird, like, sprinkled in. So but she's it, it's just like. Does she have like, the, she has the ass, too, then? Up. She has the ass too, then. Yeah, but it's like perfectly cupped. Like she's skinny. Like, dude. So like, so I envision this chick, right? I'm like the whole time, like, yo, he's winning, he's winning. I've been telling that shit every night. I fucking <laughs> girl on Instagram, whatever. I don't know how we even found each other. I don't know if it's because my account's geo targeting. I really don't know. And I'm like, it's in Mississauga. I'm like, make a long story short, it's literally like my boy's girl. Reincarnated because now, fuck it. He's he's like, wait, hold on, he's like 38 or some shit, and his girl's now like maybe 34. They have some kids and whatever, you know. So there's no, but this girl is 21. 
So I was like, holy shit. I go, I meet her in Toronto, right? Literally, like, the door swung open. I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm like, that, I'm keeping that. Like, that's it, it's over. Right? So we had this very, like, super intense relationship from the beginning. But, like, I envisioned this. But here's the here's part of, like, I'll interject here, social dynamics. If I didn't have social dynamics, I would have crashed and burned and never got to Toronto. Because she is, like, she deals with, like, all kinds of dudes and shit, but they're guys that are high-end in that, like, she's like, nah, like, it doesn't matter if you have money or not, you have to talk to her the right way. This girl's a super hot dude. You're not gonna go eight and a half, nine, or ten without having, like, a real raw level, because you'll just be a loser to them. Yeah. They'll just use you. That's what those girls know how to do. They're, like, they put money back into their looks. I mean, let's be honest, you know, if you, <laughs> they're highly paid by Sugar Daddy or whoever, if you don't know social dynamics, you become another sugar daddy almost. Unintend you could, unintentionally. Yeah. They start asking you for shit. You don't know any better, man. It's not like, you know? <laughs> so, like, we had a real raw connection. No money spent, nothing. Just, like, a raw connection. And then it was so raw. I was like, damn, I want to keep her. I was kind of being a dick. But, like, as of today, it just happened to actually, like, last night and today, I got her back. I'm like, nah, now I'm really not going to let you go. Because I'm like, you were too much even the one I wanted. But I thought about how did I get there. Knowing social dynamics of the female mind, like you, you, you'll never, you don't get that far with them. They'll just, like you, you can't get a girl like that, or whatever your preference is. Like that was something I envisioned my preference, right? But let's say you want a, a, a hot Brazilian chick. Like it doesn't matter culturally where we are, what country. It revolves around one thing, and that's knowing social dynamics and game. Because if you don't have it, the girl says shit test, shit test, and you die right away. You never get here. You just die out. <laughs> yeah. like you don't get the opportunity to swing the bat. No, yeah, with the with the really hot ones, I, I always tell guys an analogy. It's like walking a tightrope. Like you you make a few wrong moves and you're fucked. <clears throat> and they're very intuitive. Like I tell, I, I take like a scientific explanation with a lot of my clients. I say uh, chicks have ten times more white matter than us because we evolved. When well, they were in tribes, they were socializing while the men were off hunting and shit. So men have four times more gray matter. So we're, we excel at analytical pursuits, which is why the best logicians and philosophers and mathematicians and you know different scientists have been men. And that's not like a misogynistic point. But the chicks have this social intuition power even by age 16, 17. You know, I just, I've been saying in some of my recent videos on my channel, I have over 10,000 contacts now on my phone. Most of them are girls. But you put some little 18 year old you know, up against me in terms of like figuring out a situation socially and she's, her brain's just wired to be able to handle it a lot more. So these chicks pick up very quickly if the guy is like cool or not. I think it happens in less than 20 seconds. I've got yeah. numbers on this shit. I think it happens in less than 20 seconds because it's just like a, a animal sensing danger, you know, like a fight or flight. Like an animal can sense danger before we can. They, yeah. they, they have like a, you know, kind of a sixth sense about them. Girls have a sixth sense about, well, you know, it comes down to, like, in the game, survival and replication, right? And whatever, like, in, in deep theory, their highest chances of doing that are, that's the highest thing it is. But then it also is one more thing, and that's how does that mail to them impact their life? What What is it about it? Because it can't, the money doesn't last. That's why... I mean, look, look at all the cheating going on between, like, any kind of couple. You get the highest guy in the world. It doesn't matter. And then the other thing is, like, also, like I said, inspiration. Like, if the girl is not inspired by you on some level, like, when you tell a girl you know game or social dynamics, the response I get is interest. I don't get the response of, like, why would you want to know? They're like, holy shit, this guy is smart enough and cares enough to actually understand how we think as another species, like, that shit is dope, you know what I mean, like, we're thinking about them, it's like knowing another species, if you yeah. don't know, you're just you're completely in the dark all the time, you just, your, your life goes in circles, <laughs> small yeah. ones though, because you're never going to elevate or do anything like that, because you don't know how to do that, so you're just whatever you can get, yep, but, let's, let's, let's cut this one up, and then yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, the, just closing thoughts. I mean, this needs to be elevated into the mainstream um, with the proper coaches that, you know, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of the best coaches in this industry, and the guys that are, are really good at this or that are, are preaching shit that is working at a, a very high level, it's like less than a handful. It's really that yeah. small, and, I, and I'm definitely yeah. one of them. So, yeah, and, I, and, and yeah, it's a close point. I want to be able to, to, you know, I think we have both two different, like, I don't want to say just client bases, but different kinds of followings, but both of them need what me and you both have, and a little bit of both sprinkled in, that's how you really master life, you know, so so having it all, I think, is, is what life's about, because you can't just have uh, 25% and expect to win, so. Exactly, so... Do you want to, I can see on your, on the back on there, your Instagram, yeah. G Star yeah, for follow, real. Yeah. In, Instagram is G Star for real. YouTube, George G Star. Uh, Facebook.com slash George G Star 73. Twitter.com slash George G Star, which we're putting back up. And then I'm going to do a snap soon too, just because the camera's cool. So I'll let you guys know when I put this up. Nice. My, my channel right now is JMOLV Pickup. It's J M U L V Pickup. It's going to turn into John Anthony Lifestyle in the next few days. To have a more professional image, but <laughs> <laughs> still gonna keep Boys. it still gonna keep it pretty raw. But uh, okay. my YouTube mentor says that if you know if things aren't very PC, that the, the channel can get shut down, especially when you scale up. So Dude, oh, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll I'll be your coach. I got you. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. Nice chatting with you as always. I will be in Vegas uh, next month. Next month, yeah. yeah. I'm getting an extra blow up bit, so you can have the whole room to yourself for your one thousand nine hundred and forty. All right, man. All right. All right. Take care.